Hello friends, in this video I will be explaining decrease key operation in min heap. So decrease key means to reduce the value and after reducing the value in a heap, the property of the heap gets violated. So basically there will be an index and the value which is present in that index, we need to reduce that value. Okay, so after reducing the value, what will happen is that the property of the heap gets violated. Therefore, we need to recreate that heap. Okay, so I will be taking an example of min heap. Suppose this is a min heap. Already we are aware that we can represent the heap in the form of an array. Okay, and there will be index and there will be a value. Okay, so at index 4, the initial value is 7. And what we need to do, we need to change the value from 7 to 1, okay, to that given value. So for better understanding, I will be making a tree representation of this array. So this is the root 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay, and the index of 2 is 0, index of 4 is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I have represented this array in the form of a tree for understanding the concept of decrease key. Now in index 4 the value initially is 7. Okay, and I need to decrease the value. So I will be decreasing it from 7 to 1. So after decreasing the value, you can now observe that initially it was min heap, but right now after decreasing the value from 7 to 1, the min heap property gets violated. Okay, the min heap property gets violated. So in order to restore the min heap property, the steps which we need to take is like we need to compare this one with the parent. We need to compare this one with the parent. Okay. Because we want to create a min heap and right now this property due to decrease key gets violated. So we will be comparing one with the parent. So we know that 4 is greater than 1. Okay, If 4 is greater than 1, like if the parent is greater than the child value, if parent is greater than the child value, we need to swap we need to swap parent and child value. So after swapping 4 and 1, the heap will be like this. 8, 9 and this one will be 10. Okay. Now if we see this, we find that 1 is smaller than the parent. So again in this case, the parent value is greater than the child. So if the parent value is greater than the child, it means we need to swap parent and child. So over here it will be 1 and this will be 2. So the heap which we will be getting after performing swap operation is this. 8, 9 and this one is 10. Okay. So this is the modified heap after performing decrease key operation okay so if we check we find that in array first step is we need to move to that index value and need to put the given value in it so index is 4 initial value is 7 and we need to put value 1 in this index so i'll be putting the value 1 in this index this is step 1. Step 2 will be to find the parent index because I have already told that we need to compare this value, this decreased value with the parent. Okay. So how to find parent index? The parent index is p equals to i minus 1 by 2 floor. Okay. So initially the i is index 4 minus 1 because we want to find the parent of this 
value. We want to find the parent of this value. So the values index is 4, 4 minus 1 by 2, it's 3 by 2 and we need to take the floor of this. So the floor of this is 1. So, so index 1 is the parent of index 4. Now if we see this in this tree diagram, we find that index 1 is the parent of index 4. So therefore we need to compare the value of index 1 of the like parents value with the child value. So 4 is greater than 1. So if parents value is greater than the child value, we need to swap the values. So right now 1 will be over here and 4 will be here. Okay. 1 will be at index 1 and 4 will be at index 4. Now, now we are standing in this location. We are standing in this location that is index 1. And again we need to check its parent. So how we can find parents index? We can find parent index by using i minus 1 by 2. So index is 1 minus 1 by 2 and it's 0. So the parent index of index 1 is index 0 and the value is 2. Therefore we need to compare 2 with 1. Okay. So again parent is greater than child. So we need to perform swap operation. So 1 will be over here and 2 will be over here. So the modified array which we will be getting after performing decrease key operation is like 1, 2, 5, 6, 4, 8, 9 and 10. So this will be the modified array. Okay. So this concept is known as decrease key. Now in suppose I want to increase the value of a particular location. So suppose this is the location 5 and I would like to increase the value from 5 to 15. So in this case suppose if we are increasing the value in min heap we need to perform min heapify operation. Okay. So one thing which we need to take care of like in case of min heap if we are performing decrease key we need to compare that decreased value with the parent okay and then perform swap operation so we need to compare the decreased value with the parent in case of increase key increase key means we are not decreasing the value we are increasing the value like initially suppose i will be taking this min heap and i want to increase the value from 5 to 15 so in case of increase key in min heap, we need to perform min heapify on that node. So we have increased value from 5 to 15. Therefore, we need to perform min heapify on 15. Like min heapify means this the left subtree is the is following min heap. The right subtree is also following the property of min heap, but this node is violating the property of the heap. So we need to perform min heapify on this node. Okay. Already in my previous video, I have explained like what is heapify and what is min heapify. So what we will do, we'll compare 15 with its left child value and the right child value. Whichever will be the minimum value, we need to swap 15 with that minimum value. So the minimum value is 8. So 8 will be over here and 15 will be over here. Okay. So in case of min heap, if we are performing decrease key, we need to compare that decreased value with the parent and we need to move up to the root node or up to index 0. Like we need to iterate till index 0 in, the, in that case. But if we are doing increase key in min heap, we need to perform min heapify on that node. Okay. In case of max heap, it will be reversed. Okay, it will be reversed. In case of max heap, if we are performing increase key, then we need to do parent comparison. And if we are performing decrease key, we need to do max heapify. So you can check the flow in case of max heap. Right now, I have explained by taking the example of min heap. So this is the concept of decrease key and increase key.